Well, see in New York are continuing our team coverage now in Salina, where the National Weather Service confirmed an EF3 tornado killed a man and injured several others. Tiffany and Chris, the damage here in Salina is tremendous. You can see there are homes with no roof, no windows. I'm standing here in between two of the homes that were hardest hit here on Jessica Lane. This house here, you can see the roof caved in on the car. And then this house over here is still standing, but there's no roof. These piles of rubble are mostly what's left of the houses here on this block. Some of them ripped apart with no roof or walls. This is the Snyder family house that they have lived in for less than a year. The homeowner told me he believes the tornado touched down right on top of his home, destroying everything. He says he heard the tornado coming and rode it out in the basement. He, his wife, the dog and cat are all safe after what they say was a terrifying night. It's something about this and sounded sincere. So about three minutes in the basement and uh, we had a dog with us. We heard it sounded like a jet, just uh, maybe 10 jets. I, it just something like I never heard before. And shortly thereafter, big bangs and uh, it wasn't hail. <laughs> Debris had to be. Uh, and then big booms, big explosions. And then the rain started coming in, and all at once, quiet, dead quiet, just calm. And I said, the house just left. And sure enough, that's what's left. Mr. Snyder told me now the hard part begins, but what makes this easier are the number of people who have shown up to do the heavy lifting and just try to salvage some of what is left. He says there's a real sense of community spirit here in Salina and that they will rebuild. Reporting in Salina, Sia New Yorker, 19 News. Really is all hands on deck. Five Red Cross disaster workers from Northeast Ohio. They're heading to the Dayton area to respond to last night's devastating tornado outbreak there.